Are you considering an adjustable height desk but are unsure of which type to go with? In this video, we're gonna compare electric desks with crank desks with standing desk converters so that you can easily decide which type is best for you. Are you looking for a new standing desk? BTOD TV is your number one source for everything standing desks. Subscribe today so you don't miss out on any of our future content. The first type of adjustable desks that we're gonna take a look at are going to be electric desks. Now these are gonna adjust with a motor or multiple motors and they'll move by you simply pressing a button on the desk. There are a few key reasons why you would want an electric model over the other two options that we've got here. And the first is gonna be how easy the electric model is to use. All you have to do is press a button, which is gonna require a lot less effort, a lot less work than manually cranking a table or adjusting it physically like a converter will require you to do. This is great if you're on the phone. And the addition of one touch functionality to electric desks makes them even easier to use because you can just push a button and walk away from the desk and it will move on its own. Electric desks have a fast adjustment speed. Most models will move at about an inch or more per second, which will take most people about 10 to 15 seconds to go from sitting height to standing height. This won't be quite as fast as a manually adjusted converter, but it'll be much quicker than a crank desk. Electric desks are gonna offer a higher lifting capacity than a crank adjustable desk or a standing desk converter. Most electric desks will start out at around 200 pound lifting capacity with some models going as high as 500 pounds plus. Now this gives you a lot of avenues to really load up your desk with a lot of accessories. And another thing that really piggybacks off this pro is our final pro with electric desks and that is your ability to go with massive work surface setups, L desks and U shaped desks, which is simply not possible with a crank desk or a standing desk converter because they simply cannot lift that much weight. So if you need something really custom or want a huge setup, then the electric desk is gonna be the way to go. Electric desks have a lot of attractive features, but there are gonna be some downsides compared to a crank desk or a standing desk converter. And the first and maybe the biggest downside is going to be the price. So American made high end units can retail for as high as $2,000, while good budget to mid range models will usually start at around $500. This is gonna be quite a bit more expensive than comparable crank and standing desk converter models. If you just compare quality versus quality, high-end versus high-end, typically you're gonna find a lower price point in the crank desk or the standing desk converter route. Another downside with the electric desk is going to be the fact that it is electric, which requires you to plug it into a wall, which means that it has to be tethered to a specific location in your office or in your home. You're not gonna be able to put it wherever you want. You're not gonna be able to easily move it around and have it anywhere that you would like to have it. This can also be problematic if you lose power due to a storm or power outage. Your desk is going to be stuck at the position that it's in until you get the power restored. Another potential problem with having electronics in your desk is the risk that you have an electronics failure. Now, most reputable brands have tested their desks to five, 10, 20,000 cycles, which is typically gonna be about five to 15 years of use for most people. But if the electronics do fail, you're gonna kinda be stuck at whatever position that you're in, and you're going to need to replace those electronics or replace the desk in order to have a functioning workstation again. The final downside with the electric adjustable desk compared to a crank and standing desk converters is going to be the noise level coming from the motor. Most models operate between 45 and 60 decibels, which is gonna be quite noticeable in an office setting. Most office settings are gonna be around 40 to 65 decibels depending on conversation levels and what's going on in the office. So moving the desk up and down can be noticeable to your coworkers and can sometimes be a distraction. The next type of adjustable desk that we're gonna look at is gonna be a crank adjustable desk. Now this desk is gonna move simply by you pulling out a handle and then turning it to move it either up or down. There are gonna be a few reasons why you'd wanna pick a crank desk over an electric model or a standing desk converter. First being the price point. It can be an attractive price point for those of you that would like an electric model, but don't wanna pay the premium price that it commands. You'll get a little bit of a discount by going with a crank unit, and it will be a little bit less expensive because it's typically gonna be a little bit better quality than a standing desk converter. 
Another advantage that the Crankdesk has over electric models is the fact that you don't have to plug it into the wall. You're not going to be tethered to a specific location. You can move the desk anywhere that you'd like, anytime that you'd like, and you're not going to be dependent on that power for the functionality of the desk. If a storm comes and the power goes out, you'll still be able to use your desk, no problem. Because the crank desk does not have electronic components, it's gonna be a much more reliable choice than the electric models. There's just simply not a lot that can go wrong with crank desks. We have very few complaints, very few warranty claims and issues with the crank desks that we've had out in the field. They're some of the most reliable desks that we've had out there, and many of them have been in the field for 10 plus years. And the final reason that might push you to a crank desk is that you're gonna have a lot more top options as compared to the standing desk converter route. So you can see the top we have in our crank desk here is quite large, almost as big as the electric model here. And that's gonna kind of be par for the course. You're gonna be able to get very similar sizes in a crank desk to an electric model. Probably wouldn't go with an L shape or a U shape in a crank desk. You'd probably want the motors for the added power on that. But you're gonna have a lot more choices than a standing desk converter would offer you when going with a crank desk. One big disadvantage a crank desk has when compared to an electric model or standing desk converter is that it's gonna be the slowest one to adjust from sitting height to standing height. Most people will need to adjust their desk about 10 to 15 inches to move from sitting to standing. And most crank desks will require the handle to be turned three to five times per inch of travel. This means that most people will be adjusting the handle 30 to 75 times each time they move from sitting to standing or standing to sitting. This is time consuming, requires quite a bit of physical effort, and will take much longer than an electric model or a standing desk converter. Crank desks are not gonna have the same lifting capacity as an electric unit that's being powered by motors. So most crank desks will have about 20 to 40% less lifting capacity than their electric counterparts. Another thing to consider is that the number of times that you need to turn the handle will directly correlate to the weight capacity of a crank desk. So the higher the weight capacity of a crank desk, the more times you're gonna need to turn that handle, which makes it even more time consuming to go from sitting to standing. And the final major disadvantage a crank desk is gonna have compared to its electric counterpart is going to be the potential for unevenly loading your desk. A crank desk is really gonna require you to spread out everything on your desk evenly so that it has an even load for both columns. If you do not do this, it's gonna be really hard to turn the handle and it's gonna require a lot more physical effort. Now, we do recommend that you load an electric desk evenly, but you can get away with uneven loads a lot more on an electric desk, if you've got a heavy CPU, you can get away with putting it on one side, as long as you put some weight on the other one to kind of even it out. You really don't want to do that with a crank desk. You kind of want to make sure that everything is even so that it's really easy to turn that handle. The final type of adjustable desk that we're gonna take a look at today is going to be a standing desk converter. This is a product that you place on top of your existing desk or you attach to it, and it just gives you the ability to move from sitting to standing within a couple of seconds. One major advantage standing desk converters have over electric and crank models is going to be the price point. These are gonna be the most affordable units. There are some higher priced, higher end units out there, but for the most part, this is gonna be the area that you're going to get the least expensive options. Some of the most popular models are gonna be between two and $400, with some fixed height options being as low as $100 or less. Another huge advantage standing desk converters have over crank and electric desks is that they allow you to keep the existing desk that you already own. This can be great for those of you that have a home office. Maybe you have a desk that you really like and you don't wanna to have to swap it out just to be able to stand. Or maybe you're at a workplace where your employer does not let you swap your desk and you're stuck with the unit that you have. Go with a standing desk converter, clamp it to your desk or set it on top of your desk and you can still be standing while you work. One attractive feature that a lot of standing desk converters have over electric and crank units is going to be that they arrive fully assembled. Just take it out of the box, place it on your desk, load it with your accessories, and you're ready to start using the product. Compare that with electric units and crank units that could take an hour or more to adjust, and it really becomes an attractive option for those of you that don't want to perform an assembly, can't perform an assembly, or maybe you're placing a large order and would rather not have to deal with an installation company in your office. A standing desk converter that arrives ready to go out of the box can be a great alternative 
to these two options. And the final advantage that most standing desk converters have over electric and crank units is going to be how fast they are to adjust. So you can see with the vert desk converter here, I can go from sitting to standing in literally two seconds. That's gonna be much faster than the crank unit, and it's gonna be quite a bit faster than the electric model that we have here on the end. One downside with standing desk converters is going to be the limited amount of space that you get when compared to a crank desk or an electric model. You can see that the vert desk converter has a pretty big platform on the top and the bottom, but it's gonna be much less than the space that we have on either of these two desks. This can be problematic because you're not gonna be able to put all of your accessories up on your desk here. Maybe you have two monitors, a phone, several other accessories. Some of the stuff is gonna to have to be sacrificed, which means that it's not gonna come up with you when you move to standing, which may not be the best ergonomic experience. While standing desk converters weigh quite a bit less than an electric desk or a crank desk, they're still gonna be quite heavy on average. They're gonna be adjusting between 15 to 18 inches or more off of your desk. So in order to remain stable at those heights, they need to have a heavy, durable metal base, which makes them heavy, not very portable, and pretty difficult to move. So once you get them on your desk and in place, they're kind of stuck there and that's where they're gonna be. Most standing desk converters will not adjust low enough for short people when they are sitting. This is something that not a lot of people think about. When we look at our electric desk here and our crank desk, they're able to go below standard desk height. Standard desk height is 29 or 30 inches. These desks will both go a few inches below that, which is great for short people because then they can get their hands into an ergonomic typing position without having to have a tall chair or a footrest. You're not gonna get that luxury with most standing desk converters because they're gonna be sitting on top of a standard height desk. So no matter what, their keyboard tray is going to be increased from that height. Standing desk converters are gonna be bulkier than electric or crank desks, which can sometimes create somewhat of an awkward workspace for you. Now you can see the converter that we have here on the desk, the converter itself is gonna be much smaller than either of these two desks, but when added to an already existing desk, it makes the entire setup much larger, much bulkier. These two setups are much clean, much cleaner looking and they give you much more space readily accessible to you. Another thing to consider is the footprint with a standing desk converter. Not only is it gonna take up valuable desk space, but it's also gonna take up a lot of air space when you adjust it and move it out. If you can imagine this converter with dual monitors and the whole setup here, you really need to be conscious of everything that you have around you in your office. If you have cabinets or a small space behind your desk or just limited space in general, you may not be able to go with a standing desk converter. And the final major downside with a standing desk converter compared to the other two models is going to be its limited weight capacity. The most common weight capacity on a standing desk converter is going to be about 35 to 40 pounds. Some electric models will get you up to 80, maybe 100 pounds, but that's still gonna be much less than either of these two options. So if you're gonna be loading up your desk with multiple monitors or a heavy CPU or something like that, then a converter is probably not gonna be the way to go. And that concludes our adjustable desk comparison. Hopefully this video helps you to decide which of these three models is the best type of standing desk for your needs. If you'd like any more information on anything that you found in this video, make sure to click the link in the description and it will take you to our blog with a full write-up on everything that we've gone over here today. If you've liked what you've seen, please click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future standing desk content. Thanks a lot for watching.